Opinion, as a Lloyd demystifies jams um slash CBT puzzle by Anthony Colawell. Editor's Note, Anthony Colawell, an educationist at the Institute for International Strategic Studies in Abuja, Nigeria's capital city has commended the Joint and Matriculation Board for its effort in moving Igaz and the tide during the last examination. Colorill also called every Nigerian to sepatra the initiatives of the examination body under the leadership of its registrar Ishagal Oid. Nigerians should shout aloud, with thumbs up in the air for Professor Ishagal Oid, the current registrar of the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board, JAM. I say everybody should shout loud praises to him. Wait a minute. Why am I sounding like an incensed Pentecostal pastor, whose tithe basket caught the biggest fish ever, minutes before the commencement of the evening session of Signs and Wonders? It is not exactly so, but it's something close to it. Hooray! The jam registrar has shamed critics again, he has silenced skeptics. He has left the professional exam fraudsters and their allies jobless and lurking everywhere on the corridors of the educational sector in Nigeria speechless. Aloyed conducted a seamless and near 100% successful computer-based test CBT, for the 2017 Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examinations UT, in spite of malicious opposition to it. It is in the character of those who reap from the decay in the education sector to always vehemently oppose any innovation or the application of reforms that would sanitize the system. Therefore, they attacked the jam registrar and threw all sorts of defamatory missiles at him. They called him names and sued for his crucifixion. Shockingly, a faction of Esu particularly the Ibadan zone, was part of this conspiracy. They wrote memos, petitions and probably, resorted to voodoo to attack Professor Aloyed. When the antics failed to create the damage and halt the sensitization of jam exams, they laughably called for the sack of the jam registrar, a tested performer, whom they maliciously brand as incompetent. Even without JAM's Independent Information Communication Technology ICT, infrastructure to anchor this laudable innovation of CBT, Professor Aloyed, a university teacher and administrator per excellence, worked out a perfect synergy with private ICT centers proprietors and superintended over a near-hitch-free CBT exams. And come to think of it. Over 1,736,571 candidates sat for the exams, which were segmented in batches across the nation in a span of one week in 642 centers. The jam boss developed a watertight and sensitive ICT security alert system that detected exam fraudsters who connived with jam-approved operators of CBT centers. They were watched in the central control room caught and penalized together with fraudulent candidates accordingly. There are exam leakage syndicate all over Nigeria. In addition, candidates widely applauded the conduct of the CBT as smooth and easy going. They were full of praises for JAM, as the online business of UDM has speeded every process of the exams. While veiled opponents of sanity in the conduct of exams in Nigeria hid their faces in shame, independent observers equally joined candidates in eulogizing JAM for the conduct of a perfect exam. The Joint Action Coalition on Education JACE, deployed its officials who monitor the conduct of the CBT in all the 36 states of Federation and the Federal Capital Territory FCT. And they returned a verdict of excellence on JAM generally and Professor Lloyd in particular. 
A statement by J Southwest Zonal Coordinator, Mr. Okun Ladamashan conveyed it in floating details. It stated, from our observations, the examination was orderly and met set standards and all in the senders monitored by our coalition. The few incidents recorded, were largely issues pertaining to human factor and not caused by systems or process. The examination showed the imperative for continued investment in broadband gets an instability in addition to improving on power supply situation in the country. The suggested improvements would totally eliminate the few glitches recorded, it pontificated. It is my conviction that those who have sworn to pull back Nigeria in the regime of change mantra, as enunciated by President Muhammadu Buhari cannot be prevented from venting their spleen and anger against anyone, like Professor Aloid, who is determined to create a difference. But they are powerless to halt the moving train of change in the positive whirlwind shall continue to blow in institutions manned by competent hands, who share the same vision with Mr. President. We are an unfortunate people. In Nigeria, we all know, the desire of candidates to cheat in every exam, whether conducted by JAM, WAS or the universities is given a boost by parents desperate to see their children acquire certificates they cannot defend the knowledge certified by the certificates. There are exam leakage syndicate all over Nigeria. And shockingly, it is a means of livelihood for the crooks. Even with the implementation of the CBT, we have noticed how some operators of ICT centers dubiously connived with candidates to compromise the sanctity of the exams. But thanks to JAM surveillance and alertness, these fraudulent characters were secretly detected by the security devices JAM installed and today, the few candidates yet to receive their results are those caught up in the exam fraud scam which is being further investigated by JAM. It has continued to release results of centers and candidates absolved from complicity after investigation. It will not surprise me, if tomorrow another band of veiled antagonists to sanity in Nigeria's educational sector attempts to blackmail JAM and Professor Lloyd with it. It is the sad narrative of our debased lives. As expected, these parasites have begun subtle campaigns, alluding to JAM tinkering with the idea of dumping the CBT for the analog paper and pencil test, PPT, for the UT. But JAM has refuted it as untrue, false and extremely misleading. The CBT mode of exams has come to stay and the black hearts can jump into the lagoon, at their peril. Rather the JAM boss and JAM board are further modifying the CBT mode to make it much easier and friendly to erase the technophobia that gripped some candidates in the 2017 edition of CBT exams. They are determined to consolidate on the gains recorded in the last exercise. A recent statement by the JAM boss, Professor Lloyd at Eruwa House, Kaduna during the strategic planning retreat on monitoring and supervision of 2017 UT, divulged the decision of JAM's board to henceforth adopt the use of the eight keys, instead of the traditional mouse for computers. He informed, from the general feedback on the adoption of the computer-based test mode, we have noted the challenge of computer low-level literacy of some candidates, especially with the phobia for the mouse, in foreign countries, the whole process of learning is done online. This has been responsible partly for the call by some people for reversal to the paper and pencil test mode. In order to ensure equity and level playground for all candidates taking the unified tertiary matriculation examination, the board has designed a system that will allow candidates use only eight, eight, keys without the use of the mouse 
Aloyed expatiated. But we must accept the unalterable truth that the entire world and knowledge are ICT driven now. Nigeria in the 21st century, cannot afford to continue to run its educational system on the analog mode. ICT driven CBT has several advantages to the educational system and the candidates tested through it. First, the online registration is more accurate and leaves low incidence of errors, it checkmates exam fraud, no issues of impersonation, it ensures the quick and almost instant release of results to candidates, who get it in the comfort of their homes through online channels. And above all, the CBT will provoke the intensity of ICT education at the lower rungs of the educational system to compel schools to properly teach their students the use of ICT in readiness for JAM CBT to proceed for higher education. These are the pluses ICT slash CBT have impinged on our economy, education and national life as a nation. In foreign countries, the whole process of learning is done online. E-learning has replaced paper and biro or chalk and blackboard. There is no university overseas that still subjects students to the primordial system of learning as some debased Nigerians insist on retaining. We should be grateful to Professor Lloyd and by implication, the innovations brought by JAM in education. We now know that the CBT which seemingly appeared impossible is not just doable, but perfectly too. All universities in Nigeria should emulate his example and kickstart the process of thinking of how to administer knowledge through e-learning. Of course, I know Professor Lloyd is not new on the game. He faced stiff opposition as Vice-Chancellor of University of Iloran, Unilran when set out to introduce e-learning techniques. He was stoutly opposed. But I know him as a man who is never afraid of trial and he ventured into it and came out successful, like the jam case has demonstrated. Today, Unilran sits on the pioneering seat of universities in Nigeria to adopt e-learning and has continued to attract unprecedented public patronage. Those in doubt, should spare a day and take a trip to Unilran where Lloyd also introduced the CBT exams and it's working perfectly. Once again, thumbs up for Professor Lloyd. He is my perfect troll model. <laughs> <laughs>